Hello everyone. In this video, uh, we will be starting our series about Node.js and Mongoose. So, Node.js is a progressive Node.js framework for building efficient, reliable, and scalable server-side applications. So, I have created an entire playlist uh, to explain each and every single component of Node.js. If you are not familiar with it at all, maybe you should check out that particular uh, playlist. And in this series, what we will be doing is we will be utilizing Mongoose in Node.js. So <coughs> Mongoose is an elegant MongoDB object modeling for Node.js. So these are like the official uh, definitions for these two amazing tools. So what we will be actually doing in this course is like creating some sort of you know course related to website, but very minimal APIs, REST APIs for that. You know you can perform CRUD operations on users, you can perform CRUD operations on courses, as well as you can enroll the student in the course so the last one means that you can you will be able to perform some sort of relationship between the two models which is of user as well as of course so what we will not do in this course is authentication or authorization like we will not be indulging ourselves into the web security aspects in this course so what are the prerequisites so you have to install these particular tools which is node.js nest cli mongodb mongodb compass and postman so I will be working on Windows 10 platform and I have created um, every single video for all of these tools separately which I will add into the description. So you can install all of these tools after watching those videos separately. They are not very long like one or two minutes videos for each tool to install successfully. If you have all of these tools installed then you don't have to watch that. So this is the official website of Nelsius. Uh, as you can see, uh, this is the definition that I just told you about. It is a very huge uh, platform or uh, framework to learn. And this is Mongoose, which is uh, object data modeling tool, you know. So you can see that writing MongoDB validations, casting and business logic boilerplate is a drag. You know, if you work directly with MongoDB, uh, it becomes a bit hectic as it is, you know, uh, you have to write everything. But Mongoose makes life a lot easier, which we will see obviously down the road when we go through the course. And this is uh, the uh, like repository which I have prepared. So if you go down here, uh, there are the instructions how you can uh, run the application. Um, if you are in the main branch like this, if you directly clone this, uh, you will be able to run all of the APIs properly. So as you can see, you can create a user, uh, you can get all of the users, you can get a user by ID, you can update a user for the and you can delete a user. So these are like CRUD operations uh, for HTTP, different types of protocols of HTTP, you know, uh, like get, post, post, delete and put. Similarly, for courses, you can uh, create a course, get courses, get course by ID, update a course, delete a course. This last one would allow you to enroll a student into a particular course where we would be creating a relationship between the two models, as I explained earlier. So this is uh, pretty much all what I have done here is I have also, you know, uh, created these postman requests. So I will also show you how to uh, create them and them and save them so that you can always have a proper collections for this. So stay tuned. Thank you for watching.